At New Way Air Bearing, we're developing mechanisms for transporting flexible films without contact. So here we have prototype with small vacuum holes in a large porous media air bearing face. We've got an electronic indicator. Uh, we've got an eddy current probe set up here to do some measuring. So right now there's no vacuum pressure on. Well, we're going to go ahead and put the vacuum on. You can see right now it's about 20 millionths. So put the vacuum on, pulls it down maybe a quarter of a micron more. Uh, so uh, you can see that there's really not much in the way of dimpling going on, but when we put the air pressure on, now you can see that that line that you see being reflected from the wall shows the dimpling that's going on. And you can see the fly height is now on the order of two thousandths of an inch. Uh, so we've got uh, 50 microns or so fly height directly over one of the vacuum holes and that's with all the spring pressure from the indicator. So because that's not going to be in effect, we're going to take this off of here. We've got this eddy current probe because now there's just a little aluminum disc paper actually that is sitting on the glass. The eddy probe doesn't have any force pressing it down. So when we turn the air pressure on or off on the eddy current probe, you can see the change in the probe. So essentially what we have, if we look here to the paper, you can see that there's a, uh, the vacuum, directly over the vacuum hole, we have a fly height of about uh, 17 ten thousandths of an inch. And when you turn the vacuum off, and you've got a fly height of 32 thousandths of an inch. So a big pull down with the vacuum. Now in between the vacuum holes, here we have uh, an area and you can see that the, the pressure vacuum is about 38 thousandths and with the pressure, or, I'm sorry, 3.8 thousandths. And with the pressure only, we're also still 32 thousandths. So it's about the same fly height, pressure only, and it's about two thousandths higher with the vacuum force. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to do is show you that it is indeed frictionless. So you can see we've got a little bit of tape holding it on here, right here on the end. Uh, and you can see the glass squiggling around on there. I'm going to push the eddy current probe off. Uh, you can see that the vacuum pressure is about four inches of water. I'm going to hand the phone off to Jim, pick up the demo unit, see the glass is frictionless, we're flying at about two thousandths of an inch, there goes the aluminum piece, but I can turn it over, and then I can even continue to turn it, you can see we are upside down, so there's definitely a vacuum force, the glass is still completely frictionless, now if we turn the vacuum off, just to illustrate this for you, you'll see the glass fly out. So obviously there's a vacuum force holding the glass up against. So we still have a little more work to do, but we think we've come a long way in showing that uh, we can do very stable control of even thin substrates in a non-contact fashion.